Hey guys, welcome to class today. Today we're starting Punnett square problems. So a Punnett square is just a tool that we can use to solve problems related to genetics. I'm actually gonna adjust my table just a little bit. There we go, so you can see more clearly. All right, so over the next several weeks, you guys are gonna see problems a lot like this. Let's say in pea plants, green peas, are dominant to yellow peas. A GG plant crosses with another GG plant. What are the chances they have offspring with yellow peas? So this problem is giving us some information about two parent pea plants. One GG parent and one big G little g parent. And we need to solve what kind of offspring or what kind of baby flowers or pea plants will these two parents create? All right, so there are gonna be five steps that you have to use. You have to use these five steps every time you solve a Punnett square problem. So we're gonna start with step one. Step one is find the alleles. Every problem is gonna start by telling you, hey, in the world of pea plants, we've got one type of pea that's dominant, one type of pea that's recessive. Or in the world of cheetahs, one color is dominant, one color is recessive. That sentence is usually at the very beginning of the problem. Here, pea plant, green peas are dominant to yellow peas. So we're just going to write that information right here, right? I'm going to use a different color marker. Let's use this one. All right. So I always, always start by writing my, my abbreviation, my letter first. So a big G equals green and a little G equals yellow just like my problem says. You can always find the allele answer inside your problem. Now you need to go through and find the alleles on your other two practice problems. Go ahead.